probability of a good power coming out of the system. So in this case, we're going to consider several probabilities and see how do they affect each other. So the assembly line is again literally is a game of chance. So if we have, let's explain this. So if we have the game of chance, so defective part, parts occur in a manufacturing line with a certain defective rate of skew. Probability that the component can be added during the current cycle is defective. So the Q is a defective rate, a component coming from the hopper through the parts feeder, the selector, and the escapement. And the component is has a defective rate, has or is a defective component. So its rate of being defective is Q. When an attempt is made to feel an assembly into the effective component, the defective might or might not cause a jam. So let's be M B the probability that a defective result in a jam. So literally Q is probability that a component is defective and M the single component probability that this component would jam the system since the value of Q and B may be different for different stations we set them as Q I M I for every single station where I the number of 40 stations of the assembly machine and MEQ will be literally the probability that a defective component will jam a system. The component is defective but does not cause a jam of probability. It will be 1 minus M times Q. The component is not defective is 1 minus Q. Okay, so component is not defective at all is 1 minus Q. It definitely does not jam the system. Component is defective is Q and it jams the system is M times Q. Component is defective but does not jam the system. It slips through the system is 1 minus M times Q. So here, the probability of the three events, of the three or possible components would, would be as follows. Probability is defective is Q. Probability is that a component is not defective is 1 minus Q. So we have here 1 minus Q, while here we've got as Q value. And Q value is separated to two. So MEQ, which probability is defective and it jams the system. And one minus M times Q, it is defective but does not jam the system. Okay. And the fact we're summing all the value, which means if we have N stations, so we're doing the same for all stations. And proportion of acceptable product coming off the line, it will be as follows. So we have MEQ. So we have MEQ, okay, which means a defective and it jams the system. One minus Q, it's not defective. And the fact that a component is defective and it jams the system, so it's going to be replaced with a new one. But what's it's really worrying to be defective does not jams the system when it is M, one minus Q times M value. Because this one, it will slip through the system, it's defective, it's not jam the system, it slips through the system, so it can't represent the acceptable component in the system. And probability of defective part is literally 1 minus the summation, 